Hunt with passion. Never stop casting. Chase the dream. Welcome to Season 4 of Musky Mastery Outdoors. Brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors. Number one in big game fish products. It doesn't, Look, it's not moving. <laughs> it just gets stuck on that left side, and then the line bunches up. Oh my god. I got her, Mike! Oh, stay hooked. She's hooked on the bottom jaw, dude. All right, I'm going to come this way. I'm just going to bring her right in if I can. Okay. All right, ready? Yep. Oh, she's not hooked well. You got her? Nice. Oh, dude. Suspended. <laughs> they were deep, just like we thought. Oh my god! Dude, they're off structure! Holy shmikes! Dude! <laughs> Very lively. Oh! <laughs> Almost bit me there. Okay. I'll just cooperate. Just show the folks on YouTube. Okay, guys. Wow, this fish is, is not happy, but we're proud to put her on YouTube, baby. Wow! Another Grape Flame 500 Brute here, suspended musky. The bait fish were all deep, and it just goes to show you, throwing a blade over open water, you can still score. You don't need a deep diver all the time. We'll get her back and we'll fill you in on all the details. What's up guys? Welcome back to Muskie Week. I am with yours truly, Mike Richardson, and guys, we have found a really, really cool pattern out here that doesn't really get talked about much. This is something that has been, it's been written about, but as far as, uh, you know, a lot of uh, YouTube videos or fishing shows that you're seeing, this is really an untapped resource. It's something that's not talked about at all. And you probably looked at us when we caught that fish and said, where are they casting? Mm -hmm. The answer to that is open water. And here's, so that's, in the, the muskie we just, we just caught is truly a suspended fish out uh, holding over 20 feet of water. Mm -hmm. And uh, here's how Mike and I came to that conclusion. We're fishing this reef yesterday, caught a couple fish, right? Yeah. And as the day progressed, we went back to this reef thinking, okay, there's going to be some more muskies on it. And there weren't. And uh, when the muskies were up shallow on this reef, we were seeing bait fish all over the place. And as the day went on and we, we continued fishing it, we saw bait fish holding out deeper and deeper. The side imaging was telling us bait are out over open water. It wasn't up on the shallow structure. So this morning, again, we're seeing the same thing. We hadn't caught a muskie shallow and all the bait is out deep. The loon, there, you know, here's a, you're going to see a shot here of a loon feeding and eating minnows and, you know, whatever they're eating, these, these bait fish that are out deep, it's all suspended. And so we said, look, let's just start casting around the structure where these muskies are likely holding. They're, they're always in relation to the food source. And when the food source is deep, the muskies are deep. But the other twist is this, and Mike, weigh in on this one. This is really cool. The bait that we're seeing though, you're thinking, okay, Chess, so they're out over deep water. Does it mean that those muskies are deep? It's actually quite the opposite. All of the bait that we're seeing out here is less than seven feet deep. Isn't that crazy? I mean, less than seven feet deep. What that means is that a top raider mm -hmm. would be a viable option out here over these suspended muskies. Now, again, you got to see where your bait fish are holding. In this particular, uh, you know, circumstance, we got, we got fish that are up high. So the Great Flame 500, you've never seen this color before. Uh, that's why this, that's why this lure works out here over 20 feet of water. Cause the muskies aren't 20 feet down. They're like five feet down. Yeah. So really a cool musky segment. And now we're going to, we're going to spend some time out here now trolling, casting suspended, and we're going to go investigate our other structures we're fishing today and look for this same pattern. You ever pull up on one of your rock reefs and you don't see 
any bait fish or any indication that there's food there, well, it happens to us all the time. Mm -hmm. Just go out and start investigating the water around your structure and look for a suspended muskie. They may be easier to catch than you think. And you know, again, you just saw us catch one. They're not incredibly hard to catch. You just have to have the confidence to go out there and look for them. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Mike? Yeah, I think the main takeaway for me is that, you know, these bait fish aren't always going to be right on whatever structure you're fishing. If you're seeing on your electronics that they're a little bit off structure, then don't be afraid to place casts where you normally wouldn't place casts. It, it's a confidence thing yeah. because I think the open water can be very intimidating for all of us. Mm -hmm. Professionals and, and uh, regular, you know, weekend warriors all alike, you know, open water is weird. We've, you know, I think from childhood, we all have grown up fishing shallow structure. And as you progress in this musky world, you start to realize, well, uh, there's probably a, more muskies than there are in the shallows. There, there, there's more muskies out deep than there are shallow. And so it really is the last frontier. It's the final frontier in muskie fishing is suspended fishing. So with that guys, I, I argue and, and challenge, I challenge all of you to try fishing suspended muskies this season and you might be surprised and stumble upon a big fish like we just caught. Well, we th can't thank all of you Muskie Mastery subscribers for all of your support, your comments, Mike and I and the rest of the pro staff. We absolutely love it. We love creating this content for you guys and uh, we really hope you enjoyed this segment. And as always, thanks for watching. You're watching season four of Muskie Mastery Outdoors. Be sure to tune in next week for more exciting and educational musky and multi-species action.